I'm just feeding a lion. Can you believe that? This is the meat and oh, one second, here we go. He is absolutely adorable. And we are in the Isle of Wight Zoo and you can feed lions too, right here. I'm feeding a tiger now, absolutely beautiful. There's one, here's another one, there you go. Here you go. I've just come through this beautiful gate in Shanklin on the Isle of Wight. We're here at the luxurious Haven Hall Hotel. To step inside, we need a mask. Properties owned by the delightful David and Ariel Barrett. And we'd like to welcome you to our home and our hotel. We stayed in a two bedroom penthouse suite. The solar powered and air conditioned rooms combined with the unique items throughout reflected an extremely thoughtful four year renovation project. The unique chandeliers added a welcoming sense of style and charm. Of course, Shugi lucked out with an awesome headboard which when lit up looked amazing. Steps away the kitchen and lounge provided an additional sense of safety for our coronavirus travel blogger bubble. And from the balcony, we could see the courtyard on one side with the gazebo and sea views on the other. My favorite view, however, was the porthole window, which when looked through felt as if I was out at sea. In all, fabulous design. The beautiful views of the garden and the sea. This breakfast room is my favourite. Current COVID regulations means I can take my mask off when I want to eat. Bon appétit! From delicious teas to eggs royale to freshly baked croissants to locally sourced honey and artisanal breads, you just want to dunk your way through breakfast. With roses before me and the cliffs behind me, this place has beautiful views. Situated on top of a cliff, I'm totally in love with the uninterrupted sea views behind me. Sat here amongst the beautiful flowers, it almost feels like the lions behind me are protecting the hotel. We came across on the Isle of Wight Ferry, some take the hovercraft, but if you're really lucky, you can fly in on a helicopter. Only 45 minutes from Battersea. One of the hidden gems in the property is this beautiful wall of roses just next to the swimming pool. So fragrant. Just by the tennis court is a beautiful heated pool. It is cleaned daily both by man and this awesome funky looking robot. When you're swimming in this heated pool, you have a lovely view of the beautiful flowers around you. It's almost the end of September, but it's still a glorious sunny day today. So the gazebo at Haven Hall is beautiful all year round. I think I can see the mainland in the distance. Oh, hang on, that's on the other side of the island. Whoops. <laughs> Staying in the luxurious penthouse suite with a kitchen, lounge and balcony, one should always dress for the occasion. I'm in a luxury lounge attached to my room at the Haven Hall Hotel. What better place than this to review these products? 2020 is the year of Corona and everybody needs one of these. It's a mask steriliser. The nice thing about the UltraWave is that it's portable, lightweight and sterilises your mask within 10 minutes. UltraWave also have razor sterilisers, toothbrush sterilisers and an all-in-one toothbrush and razor steriliser. Toothbrush, razor, toothbrush and razor. Everyone needs at least one waterproof phone case and what better than to get one from Catalyst. This product is lockdown magic. 
the world's first pocket cinema. It's incredible. And I use it to project Amazon Prime on my wall. Yep, the limited edition H225 rocks. This is a directional microphone for vloggers and content creators from Sennheiser. This mic has an integrated shock mount to reduce noise and this is really fluffy. <laughs> you can mount it onto the hot shoe of your camera or with the right adapter onto your phone. One of the things I like doing is turning the mic towards me so it's recording my voice while I'm filming. Great for content creators and vloggers. Absolutely ideal actually. One of the things I like doing is turning the mic towards me so it's recording my voice while I'm filming. Great for content creators and vloggers. Absolutely ideal actually. The sky is crystal clear blue today. The sky is crystal clear blue today. Children are really hard to keep track of sometimes, but not anymore. This Mikey 4 Lite smartwatch allows you to make calls, take pictures and play games, as well as allowing you to track your children. We often hear about boys and their toys, but this RVR from Sparrow is also for girls. Mike and Joe are on the tennis courts playing tennis, as you should, but we are here learning how to use the Sparrow RVR. My plan was to drive the RVR around the pool, but I think I need just a little bit more practice first. <laughs> Back at the Isle of Wight Zoo, one of the other experiences that can be enjoyed is a meerkat feeding. Here, you sit calmly while food is put around you. We try to get a few meerkats on Shuggy's legs and then on her hand. Hi, my name's Lawrence. I'm the COO here at the Wild Heart Trust. We rescued five tigers um, a couple of years ago from circuses in Europe. Um, we've got two boys and three girls. And we've also got um, two rescue lions, Vigo and Cumba, that came from a, uh, another circus in Spain. By being a rescue sanctuary and rescuing animals from horrific circumstances, you know, we see an immediate return in the welfare of those animals. Hey, my name's Sandra, I'm a, a big cat carer at the Isle of Wight Zoo, the Wild Heart Trust, and I'm here with uh, three of our female rescued tigresses. Uh, we've got uh, <laughs> Antonella, our eldest female here. Natasha, the youngster, just going off to say hello to her uh, friend Zoppa. Um, and all of these girls were rescued from a traveling European circus and have come here for a safe, permanent home in the future. One of my favorite places on the Isle of Wight is the garlic farm. And did you know they have a restaurant full of garlic dishes? This is a garlic plat. As you can see, many bulbs of beautiful garlic. Garlic mushrooms garlic bread, garlic prawns, and even an Isle of Wight crab salad. Hi, my name's Lisa and I'm one of the keepers here at Monkey Haven. Uh, Monkey Haven is a primate rescue centre. All these guys have been rescued from the illegal pet trade. Um, through the pet trade, which means they've been used as props um, in the tourist industry. Um, so people will go on holiday and possibly be able to have a, a photo taken with a monkey on their shoulder. Not brilliant, because these guys, they do get um, quite badly treated um, behind the scenes of that sort of operation. So we have over 60 primates here now and some of them came to us in really poor conditions. Uh, when they come through the pet trade, they've not had proper care or uh, uh, sometimes they've not had proper food or veterinary treatment and they can be in really bad condition. But after a few months of uh, you know, joining uh, other groups and other mates, then they, uh, they become all happy and carefree, just like these guys. This is an interesting find, the Newtown Creek Nature Reserve. I'm sitting on the elevated walkway, but be careful, it's prone to flooding. Our brief walk through the nature reserve gave us a taste of what the island has to offer. And with so many beaches to choose from, we decided to try and catch the sunset just up from Compton Bay. Back at the hotel with the moon lit bright, we very much look forward to our next trip to the Isle of Wight.